the sabba, the sabre, which is a cactus, is a metaphor uh, to the Israeli native, those who were born here, like me. And uh, um, it become an image in art, uh, because if you took the fruit outside, it's very tough and prickly. And inside, it's very soft and sweet. So they saw that the Israelis are like this, very tough outside, very prickly, but inside very sweet and very soft and very uh, uh, emotional and, and so on and so on. And the Arabs in the last 10 years are dealing a lot with the Tzabar motif. I can, uh, for instance, tell you about a very important Israeli artist, an Israeli Arab artist uh, from Um al Fahem. His name is Assam Abu Shakra. Uh, he was painting his, in his last years before he died from cancer again and again this motif of the cactus, but always the cactus was not connected to the landscape was not connected to the ground. It always was in a kind of a box, standing uh, in front of a house or a window. And in a way, you can see that he was telling us, look, you took from us this image. Because before it became a Zionistic image, it was an Arab image of our uh, farms. And now I want to take it back to my uh, identity, but it's a very strange uh, identity because it's no more connected to the ground. It's not more part of the, of the holiness of our villages, but it is like a symbol of isolation. You put us in a box on a window and you tell us, you can be Arab, but be a little a civilized Arab. It's very um, patronizing his culture. Let him decide what his identity and what he wants to have in this identity. So in these paintings, he's pointing the finger to us and telling us, look, it's mine, it's not yours. If you go to the Arab villages in the Galilee, you can see it's like a refugee camps yes in some of them you can see like uh, refugee camps very crowded uh, ugly and uh, the people can't uh, build houses wherever they want even if the the land belong to them الصبر العربي يقاس بقوه جذوره ورمز الصبر العربي بالتحديد الأرض تحديد التريتوريا ورمز الصبر العربي إنه إذا أجا حدا وحاول حاول حاول يقطع الجدل الصبر جدل الصبر مع الأيام بيكون نفسه بنفسه with um, trees, burn trees and blossoming trees, which is very symbolic to me because of the roots. The Jews were not uh, allowed to have land and plant trees in the diaspora. And for me, the most important thing is to be able to plant trees and to, to send roots to the ground. So even if you chop down a tree, it sends, if the roots are still inside, it sends new, new leaves. And I have a painting that I, I call them the unfinished painting. The, and never, I will never know if this painting will be finished or not. 
Unfortunately, I, my, my younger son was a pilot and he was killed by an accident with the airplane 15 years ago. And he was um, a month before 21. And suddenly he was only 21 and he will always be 21. Always. When I came back to the studio, I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. It was darkness and darkness and darkness. I don't know how, how to describe it. It's like a, a stone on your heart. The, the, uh, the pieces of the airplane is in a box in the studio because it's so, it's so painful, you know. It's so, I don't know, I, I couldn't do with it, nothing. I couldn't, I don't sculpt them, I don't can put it together to something. I couldn't take it home like a sculpture to look at it. Nothing, the soul was dry, you know, everything was... And I started to write his name one or two or three times on the canvas. And from this way, when I started to, to write his name, I started to come to come back to myself and to start to paint. I, I know that I must, I must paint every day. You know, I, I when I'm going from back from, I came, I, going out from the studio, I miss them. I'm missing it. I want to come back. I want to be here all the time. I miss it very much. <laughs>